I'm presenting Puppet Master. It's an app that I made so that everyone could tell visual stories. Um, but first I have to tell you the truth about something. Before I actually had a kid, I thought I'd be the kind of mom who never lets them have any screen time and we just chase butterflies through the meadow all day. That did not happen. <laughs> Did not happen, I have a child, I let her use mobile devices, and even though I follow all the screen time guidelines for her, I still feel guilty when she's just passively consuming content. So I wanted something where she could create content. I wanted to teach her to look at a device and ask, what could I make with that? And I also wanted to tie it in with physical arts and crafts, which I love. So she's in preschool, she's always making these adorable art projects. So now she can move her body and her art comes to life and moves with her. She can also touch it and move it that way. And her voice is recorded, the movement is recorded, and she gets uh, an animated video. That's a stretching frog. So she can change backgrounds. So she loves to animate. So that's Puppet Master. Um, you make a, a character out of physical materials or you find something, a person or a pet that you want to animate. You photograph and set it up inside the app and then you stand back from your device and you move your body around. And just with the RGB camera that's in all our devices and with some computer vision, your puppet comes to life and moves with you. The sound is recorded, the puppet will move its mouth and say what you say, and as you saw, you can use multi-touch and touch the screen and move it that way. So not only is it fun, it turns out it's a great way for kids to learn. For example, we're learning about owls in class today. So every kid makes their own arts and crafts owl. They go outside and photograph the trees to be their background, and they animate their owl to say, you know, hey, I sleep in the day and I eat mice. So they're processing what they've learned and showing it in a creative way. So teachers have been teaching me all the reasons why they love this. And I've learned that teachers are under pressure to use technology in the classroom and want to do it, but they don't just want a digital worksheet. They want to do something with the tech that you could not do without the technology, because that's where the magic is. Otherwise, what's the point, right? So I started to notice how, besides little kids, people of all ages can use this to make um, fun videos <laughs> like this one. Um, so we're big Shark Tank fans. So your product is body glitter? Uh, yeah. Or dinosaurs? Yeah. <laughs> Look, I'm not a body glitter guy. I'm out. <laughs> I, I'm still out. So I posted this on Twitter, hashtag made with Puppet Master. I tagged Mark Cuban and he retweeted it and wrote LOL to his millions of followers. Right? So people, teenagers and adults, all of us are communicating more and more with the moving image, with visual stories, animated GIFs, and I just want to provide everyone the ability to do it in an easy way and look around at you at things and think what story could I tell with that. Um, and then with my professional background, I thought, okay, let's take it further. And in beta, we now have this where you can export from Puppet Master into something like Adobe After Effects and work on your animation curves and add, you know, whatever you want. Um, because animators tend to film themselves for, for reference and then they have to create all the animation from scratch. Well, why not just capture it while you're filming yourself and then work on it from there? Um, so, you know, I, I first, <laughs> here's another example. that banana go? So as much as I love all the slick CG stuff that I do at work, I secretly really like it when things, you know, made of clay and felt hats and buttons for eyes come to life. And you can use stop motion for that, which is awesome, but it's very, very time consuming. Um, and so I just didn't feel like the tools were out there to animate the stuff I wanted to. So I first coded the first versions myself in Unity, and then um, eventually I grew to a small team. We have Puppet Master on the App Store now. Um, I hope you try it. Show me what you make. Hashtag it. Made 
with Puppet Master. And if you're excited about this, please come and find me or email me or go to my website, schmonster.com, um, because I'm looking for people to work with on this and see what else we can make. Thank you.